Hello BC team, right now it's 9 o'clock and we have 24 hours to make this day count. Today is a really special day because we'll analyze my whole degree, what exactly I learned and what I did. For this video I was really inspired by Jarvis that he analyzes what exactly he did for his computer science degree. So I want to show you parts of my degrees and what exactly I did in electrical and computer engineering. As you can see this degree has two parts so there are a lot of courses and this is a five year degree. This meant that we had to pass 61 different courses and at the end do a thesis on a specific topic. So before I continue working let's start to analyzing my first or second semester. So as you can see here I started with physics, computer science, calculus, linear algebra and some other courses and this was the first six courses that I had in my first semester. The interesting part is that this degree starts with really general topics, for example physics, a lot of math and a little bit of programming, computer science. Of course we had two other courses but this was two general topics. After that was the second semester so it was from here and we learned about object oriented programming, applied thermodynamics, electrical circuits, structure programming, calculus 2. Oh and at the same time we had probability and statistics. This meant that again we had a lot of math, statistics and calculus too. And at the same time we had object oriented programming and structural programming. And of course we started with circuits. So as you can see we had a balance between electrical engineering and computer science. Okay that's enough for now. I need to continue working in my CNN which means convolutional neural network. See you in a bit. Okay, 12 o'clock, I really need to sleep right now. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll continue with the courses. Good night, Ubisoft team. Okay, right now is 10, 11, I work from 8.30 and this is a great day. Right now, I want to really understand what I'm doing in my TensorFlow neural network and then I have so many different works outside of the office. Okay, let's give a quick analysis about my first year in my university. Because this is the important part, not only to see what exactly I'm working on my university, but to understand what you need to learn in order to become an electrical and computer engineer. So from my personal point of view, this is generic things that you can learn in less than three to four months. For example, Physics 1 is completely unrelated and it didn't help in many aspects of my university degree. And also the computer design doesn't really help because it is a surface level course. Also I think that the programming courses, the object oriented and the structure programming course is really generic and really easy to learn. The important courses for me is the mathematical that you can't really learn by yourself except if you really work. For example I'm thinking that you can do some online courses in Calculus 1, Statistics and Linear Algebra in order to really understand what is going on in the mathematical world and then have the ability to use it in your programs or in digital circuits and in general whenever you really need them. So again from my point of view, if you're starting right now your university, think again to work more in the mathematical field. This is something that seems like pointless, but at the same time it will really help you in the long run. So give me a second to work and we'll talk again about my second year in order. I need to make an official translation of my degree and go to the bank, so I will see you in one hour, I guess.
friend over so I completely destroyed this day and I couldn't do my vlog. So we'll see you tomorrow and we'll continue with the degree. Okay, hello PC team. Right now is 10.37. I woke up about two hours ago and I worked in the CNNs. But for now we have something even more interesting to talk about. Before I go, because today I want to go to IKEA in order to see the furniture for my future home, I want to close this vlog and talk about my second year. So, okay, as you can see, we continue with the same trend. We worked again with two courses of mathematics, differential equations right here, and applied mathematics. Both are important for an engineer and a computer engineer. We talked about complex numbers and, of course, differential equations, Fourier, Laplace, and so on. Okay, materials and electronics is not that important, I guess. Electric circuits, of course, too, that we continue in the same path in order to understand better. Circuits and how to develop our own complex circuits. And the interesting part that you can notice in a glance is that we don't have any courses about programming and in general computer science. This was a semester that was completely dedicated into engineering. So we have courses like electric circuits, electronics, electromagnetic field one, and of course, linear system and signals. From my personal point of view, this is kind of wrong because it gets really boring after a while. And at the same time, some of these courses are extremely difficult. For example, electromagnetic field one, with a specific professor that we had, it was extremely difficult and less than 30% of the class was passing every single semester. So this was extremely difficult for all of us. Okay, let's go to the fourth semester, so to the final part of my second year. As you can see, we continue with the same trend. We have electrical power technology, electric circuits three again, digital systems, which comes after the signals one, electrical field two, which was also extremely difficult, even more difficult than the previous one. And finally, numerical analysis. This is something that involves programming, but at the same time, it is extremely interesting about mathematics. It's the combination on how you can bring math into your computer, your algorithms, and so on. Okay, there's only five courses, so let's see the other ones. Okay, as you can see here, we have two more courses, Computer Architecture and Stochastic Signal Processing. Computer Architecture is an interesting course because you learn how exactly your computer works, and you learn about assembly, which is extremely interesting, but difficult. And Stochastic Signal Processing is an extremely difficult course. Course, because you really need to understand what is going on in the signal world and then generalize it with mathematical equations and tools that this course gives you. Okay, I think that this is enough for today, guys. Because this is an extremely long video, I wanted to make it in only one video. But as you can see, my degree is really long and we have so many different things to discuss. Okay, I will make a part two in the next week and don't forget to subscribe and talk to me through Instagram stories and tweets. As always, keep coding, guys. Thank you.